So welcome. So today I'm going to go over Canon Remote Live View. So what is Canon Remote Live View? It is a program that I stick on the computer here and it allows me to see what's going on through my camera. Obviously, Canon does not have any sort of a wireless um, connection for my camera, which is the Canon 5D Mark III. So I need to tether it with cords. So I have one cord going from my microphone to my camera and that's recording the audio right now. So in this case, I'm recording the audio on a shotgun mic. I also have a USB. The USB I usually um, use when I'm doing a screen recording on my computer. But for this, we're just gonna be using the audio um, on uh, the camera. And then I have another cord going out to my uh, camera, that's a USB, and that plugs in and it hooks into this remote live view and it lets me see what is going on in my camera as well as control it, you can see um, when I'm working. So whether I'm doing video or photography and anything where I can't be behind the camera so I can use remote live view. The, the bad thing is it, I'm tethered to a, a computer which is kind of a pain in the neck, but um, it lets me use stuff like an intervalometer which is not on my camera. So um, a couple things here, I think I said this is an old shotgun road uh, video mic that I'm using. Um, my light here, it's just a single light that I'm using, is something I got from someone. It's an old Smith Victor hot light with a 250 watt ECA bulb and a translucent umbrella, so nothing fancy. On my background, it's just my kitchen. I sh this is my desk here. It's a, a, a live edge wood slab table that I've made for my computer. Unfortunately, it sits with my kitchen in the background, but what are you gonna do? I can put up a backdrop, but way too much time. So a little bit about live view. So I'm gonna be looking down here. So you can see right here, it's actually recording and it's showing this is full HD, 29.97 frames a second. So um, I'm in live view mode and that's part of the issue here with the hum. So live view is letting me obviously see what's going on in the computer. So right here, um, I have tungsten and so the tungsten is my color balance. Now I could come in here and change this um, if, I, if I shut down the recording, which I'm not gonna do. But if I was shooting in daylight or whatever, so since I'm using that uh, tungsten bulb, I have tungsten set here. You can obviously use Kelvin. You can pick a color temperature as well. So live view mode. So this on or off is going to let me uh, focus my camera. So it should work when it's running. So I'm gonna move out of the way. It should refocus on the back. We got a nice picture of some sugar and some dog bones. So then I can get back um, within this little square right here. Uh, and then I'm gonna hit on once again and it should refocus on me. So there we go, we're refocused. So that's how I use that. So obviously it's pretty good right here. Um, I can't go into it now because we're actually recording, but this is my audio levels. Um, that are getting recorded through this Rode video mic here. So um, on this panel over here, it's a little bit different. Uh, right here is a shutter control. So this would actually allow me to take pictures if um, I wasn't recording video. Um, we see you have an autofocus, manual focus control on that as well. I can set my shutter speed, my f-stop, my ISO, um, these other settings are available when it's not recording. Uh, so it's showing my color balance, high speed, shoot raw. And then I also have the ability to um, sh uh, pick my different picture styles as well. So this little timer here is where you do uh, like kind of a live shoot or use that intervalometer for doing things like uh, a time lapse. So if you're shooting a time lapse, um, th there's ways you just go in there, you set that up, you say how, how many, how long you want it to go for and for, you know, you want to take one every second, one every two seconds. It doesn't have like tons of settings in it, um, but it definitely works good. I mean, it's kind of a problem because you have to have a computer to tether it to get it to work. I know there's different little attachments that you can get hooked to your, com uh, your camera to do the same thing. This is just, uh you know, one possibility. 
So it's there. So, and, and the great thing is, uh, I'm pretty sure it's free. I don't know if I paid for this or not. I doubt it. But it's it's called Remote Live View. Um, and it's under the, I think it's a Canon 3 Utility is the program. So it's the EOS Utility 3 program. And what I'm using is the Remote Live Window and this uh, Utility 3 program. I think there was a 2 as well. So any camera that doesn't have the uh, ability to be wireless, you just need these two cords and you can hook it up and it's you know, easy to go. So one issue is you're going to need a really long cord, so I just went on B&H and got like a 16 footer, so I'm good to go. So that's a little about the EOS 3 utility using the remote live window, so hopefully that's helpful. Taught you something new that you didn't know existed, so we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on social media, and watch a suggested video.